welcome to my tube. My name is Marge. I'm a Hilka. I'm the empath, and I just like doing these little talks on how I feel about things, and what, 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 whoa. <laughs> I think this is appropriate today. It says, as a computer professional, I find your faith in technology amusing. <laughs> You know, it's people think it's like a light switch, you know, you turn on a switch and it's like the light bulb comes on and, and everything just works as it sure, not as all that is, is a contact that closes and completes a circuit of electricity, you know, computers and cameras and microphones, they're all different, they all have different operating systems and they're all not compatible. <laughs> Because they're all, this is mine, and you're not going to play with me, and this isn't going to work with this, and it's just all stupid. <laughs> but this is the world we live in. It's been a pretty wild day here. I didn't get more than two hours sleep last night. And then Artie Pants went to the vet. He's home, resting in the living room. His lights trip him out, so I only have him on for the video, and then I'll shut him off so he can come in and convalesce yeah see he's my sensitive one I know because he came under he was came in to rescue under a complete duress he's that's just like what I when I was born he had low birth weight he was the runt just like me it's only six pounds four ounces and I was like 10 months they kept waiting because my lungs weren't developed because Addison's disease, mom was so stressed out that she drew on me for support in her system, and I gave it to her, and I've been offering support ever since. <laughs> so, anyway, I always get nervous when our, when any of them go to get put up, go to sleep, because we don't always get the same version when they wake up. Animals and people it happened with my pal Peg. She had ankle surgery, came up, you know, and the older they get, the more detrimental is because they're always, we're already more sensitive, you know, we, we evolve, our bodies, our spirits evolve in this, in this lifetime, and, and, and we only get more sense, it's sensitive until we, ching, take our last breath and incarnate out into the light and the stars, you know. So the older you get, you do that more and more. So you put, you know, mad science, crazy mad, you know, toxic chemicals on that can create problems. And I understand the need for medicine. I understand. I just, it needs to be, come for a more holistic approach. You doctors, you know, need to be spending more time with their patients than with their cars and vacations and stuff like that and they just get oh so paid too much and it it keeps the humanity from them and when somebody act you know when somebody's ego is so up here and it disconnects them from humanity and they don't operate in a humane way so you're not going to give people the care you're going to doctors worried about stats i mean come on really this is not what the world is could the do better the world could be so so much better it's embarrassing what the governments have allowed to happen i mean the whole planet is like we're the laughing stock of the whole freaking cosmos earth is because it's like they have all the resources they have all the power to just make it a freaking garden heaven on earth but they'd rather squander blow up freaking kill you know do all this grow low grow low vibey nasty stuff so a so bunch of people can get money and get rich and while so many more people than that are living in painful misery which creates days like Suicide Awareness Day, which is stupid because everybody should constantly be aware of their friends. You know how many people that I know 
I'm like, no wonder people do it. I mean, I hear people say, oh, I don't want to hear that, that, oh, that's just, you know, I've heard you, you're just Marge being too much Marge, you know, that's just so-and-so being too so-and-so, and no, that's so-and-so be, you know, and people have so many feelings and so many emotions, they don't know what to do with them, and they know people don't want to hear about it. Because people tell them, and people, and if, and they might act like they want to hear about it, but really... Their energy, I mean, people don't even, like, try to fake it. Oh, yeah? Really? What's going on? Huh. Again? Hmm. You know, being, pre that kind of stuff? I mean, not being present? You know? The whole world is, like, we're, like, all part of this one conscience, yet everybody is unplugged from it and is trying to run, create this one idea of a world and what people are missing is the point that it's cooperation is nature's way, you know. I started to tell the Luther Burbank story this morning. I tell him that story a lot, how he created the non-thorn variety rose bush by talking to the rose every day and saying, you don't need thorns, I will protect you. I will make sure that you have all that you need, that you are loved and watered and nurtured and you get sunshine and then you know, after a time, the rose became a variety without thorns, you know? Yeah, that's why a farm, a farmer's harvest is as plentiful as it is. It is, is because it's the vibration of farmer in cooperation with the earth. Yeah, yeah. People that don't have a green thumb... That's an imbalance. There's something about that. Everywhere I go, flowers like, Burr. even in the backyard here, the roses are like. Burr. We had a wild storm in Salem today. Freaking scared me. It was like a Midwestern storm. They don't happen like that. Here, and I was talking to this guy, the neighbor. He came home to check on his house because it worried him too. You know, it caused it was cause for alarm for sure. Here's a, a picture of it at the top of the spillway, the neighbor's house. I call, I called I called the and let him know that this could potentially be a flood hazard because it was you know that was about to spray over the top of the road. So, you know, I just let them know. Do with it what you want. I give them the information. People do with it what they want. Pick it up. Put it down. I don't care. I'm not here to change people's mind. I'm just providing information and collect data that I've collected and found to be true. And some people have watched my videos of on some of the stuff that I've said to be, you know, that I've found <clears throat> truth in some things that I've said. <laughs> so yeah, so the storm is pretty freaking wild. There's lightning and thunder and freaking water, you know, and I'm just like, I get that. And that, that, that had my adrenaline going, you know, and it puts me in the mind frame of, I can't imagine what the people that go through, that go through, like, hurricanes and stuff. I, I, well, I can imagine, and that's all I can do, is the horror that, you know, and how that changes you, and see, the thing of it is, is I, I had a lot of traumatic events happen to me when I was a little girl, several, and I just thought that life happened to everybody and it wasn't until I got older I'm like well <laughs> started comparing my story to other people's or like telling sharing my story and people are like R -r 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 -r, and I'm like oh that doesn't happen to everybody <laughs> oh okay so I I mean I was a little daredevil too I've had a lot of near-death experiences you know and it's not it's never my time it's never my time I'm here to teach about energy and that listen to your guts Listen to your guts, because people will show you who they are. You just got to look at every detail and remind yourself of, of people that used to know that were like them, you know. Uh, safety first. It's a really weird era we're moving into, you know. Anyway, you know, I mentioned something earlier about suicide. Every day should be suicide awareness. Yeah, it's people are in a lot of pain right now. People are like, what? They're in so much physical pain, emotional pain, and it freaking. It's like when I was a little girl and trauma happened. You know, it put your. You know, when trauma usually babies are protected, and you know they don't. Usually people ward off. I don't. 
I know a lot of people like have never been in car accidents and stuff like that, and that's traumatic, you know. But a lot of I know a lot of people that have been really guarded in life, and so once you once something happens that elevates your vibration to a heightened state of trauma, it changes you. It changes you. And I just was always changed before. You know, all my stuff happened from the time I was a little girl until I was, uh, uh slow stuff started slowing down. I don't know. <laughs> when I moved, or I don't know. When I went to the Air Force, I don't know. It's a wild, long story. It's September 11th tomorrow, and that made us back all this stuff when I was there, and I didn't know the towers fell until 10 30 that night. And, I, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I freaking just started tears. Just I'm like, that was a demolition. That was a demolition. That was a controlled demolition that I just watched. That was not plane crash. That what what just what did I just see? And I was in the Air Force, and I was like, what have we done? I've been trying to live to clean the karma of that ever since. 3,000 people. Uh, who's the threat? Who's the threat? That just really hit me hard. So, um, I am good. I am good today. I had a great meditation. I am dry. I'm safe. Mom's good. Enjoy the storm. I'm gonna take the rest of the night and be quiet. Maybe watch some scrubs. Go back and watch some letter, Kenny. You know somebody that's too much? You let them know. Let them know how much you appreciate it. Wouldn't have wouldn't have it any other way. Hope you have a red day. Peace.